Hello YouTube. Abbreviated video. We are looking at like four or three and a half minutes of uh, quick attachment of the outboard leading edge. Um, apparently I forgot to record the other wing attachment. By the way, where's the other wing? It's laying on the ground in the other room. Eh, you gotta rivet from the front too, so uh, to do that we needed space. So um, we lifted it off the stand through those double doors that I put there. <laughs> Glad I made sure that that opening was plenty big when I created that room. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is um, a bunch of using the squeezer on the um, ones that are on the lower side, right? So the lower side is where I'm at and the bottom of the wing and the uh, top of the wing is opposite from where I'm at. So you can use the squeezer on all of these and then there are like five or six pop rivets where each of the seven um, leading edge ribs attach through the spar. So you can see those golden clecos there and we're going to put some uh, pop rivets through those. Re oh, there are the pop rivets right now. So that's how it attaches and then the front um, the top side of the wing attaches by being you know rivet gun and bucking bar um, I had my wife help me with that she is not on camera because the camera is going to be inside here this whole time apparently but um, also uh, something apparently I didn't film the entire left wing attachment so that's not gonna be shown for whatever reason I, I don't know what I did um, apologies one tip I definitely have for anyone doing this is um, take some time to fit the top I'm sorry the trailing edge skins for both the top and the bottom um, against the leading edge as you're attaching it the same for the fuel tank will happen <coughs> But um, you're gonna have to file down um, the skins where they meet because you need some gap, a very, very tiny gap, like 132nd, maybe a 16th um, for paint, for primer to get in there um, between the two skins. Um, if you leave no gap, you have no problem. But anyway, yeah, that's it. So I really like this view where we're just like magically rivets are coming through and being bucked. It's pretty cool. We got it all done in very little time. And we did the other wing like the very next day. So anyway, that's it for this one. So uh, we'll see you next time for something else entirely. I don't even know. Bye-bye.